Hi, I'm Michelle Welsh. And I'm Jessen O'Brien. And this week on Seeing That, we are reviewing Amelia. Amelia tells the story of Amelia Earhart, female flyer, um, starting with her first flight across the Atlantic Ocean and ending with her final attempt to circumnavigate the world and uh, her eventual disappearance. It uh, also deals with her relationships, both with her husband, George Putnam, and with other flyer, Jean Bell. Overall, I found this movie to be extremely unfocused. <laughs> I'm not too sure what they wanted to focus on, but I felt like they should have chosen either her relationships or her childhood or her flying and stuff with that. I totally agree. Um, it was just all over the place, kind of. It, it had no sense of transitions and segues mm -hmm. into the stories, and the exposition on it was just, well, it was awful. Like, it, you would basically go from one scene about flying to the next scene, she's in a relationship, and then the next scene is like whether or not she wants to be Miss Feminist and mm -hmm. never marry, and then the next scene she's married. And it just, it just jumps around far too often, and it, it's, like, so lacking in substance how, like, it tells the story. Like, <laughs> some of the lines in it, the screenplay, was just positively awful. Um, there's this one that, you know, Richard Gere says something about, like, his, like, bravery or whatever to, like, be married to her or something. I forget exactly how, but it, it's just yeah. awful sort of cheesy lines that are just are unbearable probably to speak. I mean, my main theory is that whenever they sort of attempted to approach a conflict, they shied away from it, which is why they would have to change topics. And I mean, they could have focused on, you know, making a really beautiful movie, having gorgeous shots of flying, and there were a couple shots that were nice, but nothing to me particularly stood out. I agree. Uh, I mean, this is Marinere, and she had been known for kind of some really great cinematography, and it was just, it was not there. Um, it seemed almost like was either a rushed film or uh, just not really well done. You wouldn't think it was from her. Um, there were a few, you know, sort of moments, like you say, um, you know, that I can recall, especially when they do get around to flying. Um, flight is not a big part of this movie. You would think it would be. Um, and so when they do get around to it, there are some great shots, mm -hmm. um, especially in the third act um, when they're doing sort of the circumnavigation. Uh, the places that they do visit, there are some good scenes, but... Overall, like, this is kind of, like, it's a movie trying to look like the aviator and be mm -hmm. the aviator in a way, because, like, nowhere near as interesting. But, yeah, nowhere near as good. Yeah. And just so lacking substance. But I mean, I did not feel empowered if it was attempting to do that at all. I, yeah, I definitely agree. Like, it, it, it touches on this, you know, sort of, you know, feminist kind of attitude that Amelia Earhart had. Um, she wore pants, but it's like that's kind of how they, they never take talked it. about her really wearing pants. Yeah, or, like that's into why was she so obsessed with flying or with wearing pants or you know overcoming exactly. these obstacles? I never really learned why that happened. She randomly mentioned her childhood once, but that was yeah. bad. You never really get a sense of who she is in the movie, mm -hmm. and um, also Hilary Swank's performance I found to be. I mean, I, I, I consider it a little better than, like, community theater imitation in a way. Yeah. I and mean, there are some moments, especially, again, the third act. I, I prefer the third act. It's much more successful and tighter. Mm -hmm. But um, in the beginning, it's just, like, this sort of forced accent she's putting mm -hmm. on, and it does not work for me at all. Um, it feels like um, high school students trying to imitate an Oscar movie mm -hmm. without it actually being an Oscar movie. Exactly. And this seems like her another, you know, attempt at, like, a prestige picture, and it, there's no prestige there. Um, I mean, she's a tomboy again. She's done that well. Yeah. Um, and I mean, she's played a former sort of American hero before. She was Alice Paul in um, HBO's Iron Dot Angels, and that was a great performance. And she's always given great performances, but this was just missing. And Richard Gere was not better, nor was Ian McGregor. I mean, slightly, but... I mean, I, I liked that this was Richard Gere, and it was sort of more charming. Like, it was a different kind of role for him, but mm. I mean, it's true, he's never been the greatest, most talented actor of the Bag of Tricks, uh, you know, the actor tricks are not there for him. But also he wasn't given a great script, so yeah. I think anything coming out of his mouth is going to sound kind of really awful and cheesy. Um, in their defense, it was a hard script to work with, being that there was true. nothing there. True. Um, on the other hand, I definitely liked Christopher Eccleston, um, mm -hmm. former Doctor Who. Uh, he played yeah. Fred Noonan, which was a really great kind of role, and he actually was the only person who seemed to be like... I mean, he's no David Tennant. <laughs> but he did do a great job, yeah. and um, definitely made like the third act a little more bearable. Um, and also, it's true that like uh, 
there was kind of good chemistry between Gear and Swank. I, I thought it was yeah. kind of really sweet. Um, it was just, again, it was a kind of directionless sort of film. Um, and also Ewan McGregor, I wasn't the most impressed with. Probably because he was in like eight minutes of the movie. Mm-hmm. It seemed like a cameo, um, <laughs> practically. And it was a very sleazy, sort of, you know, distracting bit of time they focused on this sort of relationship she had. Um, I mean, I found that I left the film wondering why did she want to fly? Why did she make the decision she made in her life? What was her motivation? Exactly. So. It, it left you with more questions than sort of giving you a sense or an idea of like who this sort of a great American hero was. Uh, mm-hmm. Just, you know, it's a very unfortunate thing to leave a biopic thinking about is what was this about and why did this person do this? It's supposed to tell you. It's not. Yeah. But, um, so I guess next week we will be reviewing we have not something, yet. <laughs> something hopefully more fabulous than this one. 